There seems to be a common misconception out of there that you need a lot of money to get involved and get started in so rare and to have a worthwhile experience on the platform. Now, whilst there are plenty of divisions that will require cards that cost real money, that is certainly not the only way to make some cash on so rare and you can actually play for completely free and earn rewards that are worth sometimes significant chunks of money. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get involved with so rare without putting a single penny onto your account. Hello everybody, Jake here and welcome to my first So Rare video here on my So Rare channel. I've been playing the game for a fair bit of time now. I've really enjoyed using the platform and I've been dying to make some content on So Rare. I already make a lot of content on Football Manager and I felt like So Rare was my next calling in terms of making YouTube videos and I'm very excited to be here. And today, like I mentioned, we'll be going through how to make money in So Rare without ever putting a penny into your account. As this is the first video here on the So Rare channel, if you guys could be absolute legends and smash the like button it would help so much in getting these videos out there but one thing that would be even better is if you could hit the subscribe button now if plenty of so rare content over the next coming weeks months and hopefully years isn't enough for you well i will actually be running a giveaway soon where you can win a card worth free or money i'll talk a little bit more about it in future videos but if you are subscribed you will be in with a chance of getting this reward so if you want to hit that subscribe button that'll be awesome but let's get into so rare and how you can win cards for completely free on the platform. Now, it should be said that this is going to take some graft, it's going to take some luck, it's not going to be easy, but there is certainly the possibility there for this to happen, and that is by using the common cards on the platform. Now, if you don't know much about So Rare, you might be a beginner if you're watching this video, but even if you are experienced on So Rare, you should still definitely be getting involved in these leagues with the common cards because there's so much usability now for these guys that I think it's great and you can actually get some awesome rewards. Just to explain the basics of So Rare, there are different rarities of of cards in the game. You've got Unique, which are the most expensive. Then underneath that, you've got Super Rare. Then the divisions that most people will compete with, which are the rare cards that you can see here in red once they eventually come up. There we go. And then you have the limited cards, which you can see here are the gold cards. Now, these cards are worth money. And as you can see, I've got some here all worth different values. You've got some that are 20 quid, some that are 40 quid, some that are 90 quid in some cases. So as you can see, there's a wide range of prices for different cards, depending on who the player is. Underneath this limited rarity, is the common rarity which contains these silver cards that you can see here now when you get started on the platform you will get given i think it's 10 or so of these common cards based on what league or club you pick at the start of creating your so rare account which speaking of if you do want to set up your so rare account i am affiliated with so rare in the link in the description so if you use that link and then you sign up to the platform not only will that help support the channel, but when you eventually do set up your account, if you ever decide to buy cards, not from the manager sales, but from the new card auction section, after buying five cards, you'll get given a free limited card. So all I'm saying is if you are going to sign up to So Rare, then make sure you use at least someone's affiliate link, but I'd greatly appreciate if it's mine, because there's no harm in doing so. It helps me, and eventually it will help you if you end up buying five cards on the platform, you will get a free one. But back to the common cards and how you can make money. Well, the common cards used to only be available to use mainly in the casual league. Now the casual league you will get a reward based on where you finished in comparison to other players and this is still the case. The casual league is still there to be played but they have now introduced the So Rare Academy which is designed for new players to get involved in the game. It will give you a chance to develop your club and give you the chance to eventually win some great cards because from both of these common divisions that I've just mentioned you can win limited cards of different rarities and as you've seen these limited cards can be worth a fair chunk of cash but how do you get involved in these free leagues well once you've got your first set of cards that you get given when you set up your game if you head over to the play section and you choose a game week that still says open you can select your side for the casual and the academy now i would definitely suggest starting in the casual section because i think this gives you the best chance of earning some good common cards because that's going to be how you start this is certainly a grind and you'll have to start by earning some better common cards because the chances are the ones that you get given at the start when you create your five-a-side team they won't be good enough to go and win your rewards but how do those rewards work you'll see if you finish in the top three here you can earn some limited cards which is awesome as mentioned they're the rarity they're actually worth something but now if you 
you finish in the top 100, you can still earn cards worth money. But I don't think this is going to be your first aim because I think it will take a while to develop a team that can actually compete for these rewards unless you get a good chunk of luck, of course. But what you'll be wanting to do is just keep playing and every week you'll earn a player no matter where you finish. If you finish in the bottom 50%, you'll still get a tier two common, which features some very good players. I mean, you can see some guys here, the likes of Denzel Dumfries, Stefan De Vry, these are players that can definitely earn you some good points. And over time, you're going to start to build your club up. Now, I believe when you start, you'll only get given one goalkeeper and to compete in both divisions, you will need two goalkeepers. So you want to keep going until eventually you hit a second goalkeeper and you'll keep developing your team for this casual league. Eventually, you might finish in the top 50% of players and that will earn you players such as Otavio, Noah Okafor, Dominic Jobberslai, Gerson here, Florian Muller. They're just some names that I've picked out that I know are some cool players on the platform. And then you might get even luckier one week, get in the top percent and earn yourself a star common. The likes of Kylian Mbappe, Joshua Kimmich, Vinicius Junior, Lionel Messi, Donnarumma, Neymar, the best players in the world, basically. And of course, if you did win a player such as Neymar, Mbappe, Messi, and you put them in your team, obviously they're going to help your points totals because in most weeks they will perform well. And you might see yourself getting a chance of getting in these top 100 positions. Now, it should be noted that usually there's thousands and thousands of players entering these casual leagues. So it's going to take some grind to get a team that has the chance of winning. But just to quickly show you the potential possibilities of winning here, if we go over to a game week that's currently going and we go to the casual division, you will see my team here has not done too well at all. Every player's score is out of 100. One of my guys didn't even play. One guy only got 20 points. Another guy got 50. It's not gone too great. But if we look where I'm finishing currently, I'm finishing in the top 10% of players, meaning I can get a pretty cool star common. I could get Erling Haaland. I could get Messi. And that will give me a better team to use in future weeks, which is awesome, of course. But as I mentioned, the top 100 will get a card worth money. So if we have a look at 100th place this week, who has won a reward. Let's go find the guy. If we keep scrolling all the way to the bottom, we will see here it is Dream Tim FC. Dream Tim FC, sorry. Um, with this side here, he looks like he'll be qualifying to get a tier three limited, which could be worth some money. It could be five pound. It could be 20 pound. It could be 50 pound. Who knows? It all depends on the player that he gets. And he's done this with one player barely getting anything in terms of his score and everyone else getting, you know, 60s, 70s. These are scores that are certainly reasonable and it's not like he's got a team of star-studded names here. There's some players that are very good in the Asian League, don't get me wrong, but it's not the kind of team you might have expected that could actually win a reward. Yet yeah, it has. Let's look at this guy here, Cloud2114, who has got 334 points, finishing in 93 plays, giving him a reward. He has got two players who only hit 40 points, a couple of players in the 60s and 70s, and one guy who he capped on 86 points your captain gets bonus points so if you get lucky one week you could actually be within a chance of winning a card but this has always been the case in so rare there's always been the casual division i believe though they have recently adjusted the prize pool so now the top 100 players can get rewards before that it was a lot less but what i really love about so rare recently and what you can compete in when you eventually get another goalkeeper is the so rare academy like the casual division this is another league that you can enter but the academy actually isn't against other players the way that the casual league is. The way you win cards in the academy is just about hitting certain thresholds of points. Let's have a look at the prize pool for the So Rare Academy. As you can see, if someone got over 110 points, they'd get a tier two common. If they got over 165, a tier one common, over 300, a star common. And then if you get 390, 440 points, that's going to be quite hard to reach, but you'd actually be guaranteed a limited card no matter what everyone else's scores were in the week, which is absolutely fantastic fantastic. That's two ways to potentially win cards. But one thing about the academy division, it's that actually outside of your common cards, you can actually use two limiteds in your team of five and they will get a bonus in terms of points, which will then make it even easier to climb the ranks in the academy. But I think these two game modes are awesome. Firstly, you're going to have a lot of fun grinding, building up this amazing collection of common cards. I think that's just fun in its own right. But eventually you might be in with a chance of winning a card worth real money. And if you do have an interest in eventually getting involved, in buying limited and rare cards and competing in other divisions on so rare this is a good way to train 
showing you up about how to use the platform, about how to understand the scoring matrix in the game. And it's great fun. It's super easy to get involved. If we go to next week, I'll show you me picking my team now. I want to register my casual team. So let's have a look at players who are playing for me. These are all my goalkeeping options currently. Most of them have no game as we're in the off season, but I have the choice between Jimmy Mauer and Langarek in goal. I'm going to go for Langarek because as you can see over the last five weeks, he has got a higher average score. You pick a defender. In this case, I'm going for Takoya Iwanami. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I've got a very good midfielder to pick from here with Gokuto Notsuda, a player that I've won in the past. So we're going to put him in the team. We've also got this guy and you might go for, let's say, Higuchi up front. I'm going to captain the guy in the middle and now that team is ready to go. That's all that it takes. You'll just have to do that before every game week and you are entered with the chance of winning a potential card. And then in my academy team, let's register a squad. Obviously, it doesn't look like Jimmy Mauer is playing, so I don't have much of a chance of winning too much at the minute because I need another goalkeeper who's playing. But I've got a lot of European players, so when the European season rolls back round, I'll have more of a chance. But let's pick Gen Shoji, Pepe, Adrian Agazora, and Guillermo Fernandez. The only way you can get in there and win a card is by trying and putting a team out, so there's no harm in doing so. And now my teams are ready to go, and you have a chance of winning cards. But every single week, even if I don't hit a limited card, I might get a new player for my side, which will help me in the end in getting towards these goals. I think it's great fun if you are interested and you haven't done so yet in getting involved in the free side of So Rare. Just sign up using my link in the description. I'm going to be making some more videos going forward about how to get involved in the Rare and the Limited Divisions, some good players, some good teams to buy, and also how to scout for good players in So Rare. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. If you have any questions as well, let me know down there. But most of all, have a great day, guys. Thank you for joining me in my first So Rare video. Hopefully, there's a lot more to come. So stay safe, everybody. Everybody, have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.